what's up YouTube so um I just got back from uh, the local angelfish breeder um, she was kind enough to let me borrow one of her females so that my uh, male can breed with him with her I mean and this is this is an amazing fish look at this fish folks it's even got that little bit of shine coloration in it forget what she called called it but um yeah, and then I have my black one in here, and she also gave me a nice piece of slate for them to breed on. Um, so now, hopefully, um, I'll get some babies. Um, it's not a hundred percent chance, um, like it's not a hundred percent finalized that I am going to have babies, but hopefully it happens because I have a male and a female, and maybe I think that's a male. Um, she said that she wasn't 100% on this one. So, um, I'll bring updates on this as they, uh, come. And, um, I got a nice little sponge on my filter, so if I do get babies, no fry gets sucked up. So, um, I just have to see what, uh, happens. Um, one quick tip on breeding them. Obviously, you have your male and your female do a little water change, put your slate in, or something to... I mean, they have lots of places to breed. And, uh, raise your temperature. Like, my heater's on right now, it's still getting warmer, but, um... I want it a little bit above the green in the 80 to 82 range. Which is what I have my, uh, Eheim set to. So, yeah, folks, that's about it. Just wanted to bring you, uh this series and um, I'm really excited to see what happens and uh, again if you're watching this uh, thank you so much Sylvia it's um, amazing I mean like just look at the size of this fish like this is no lie no uh, no no lie no joke um, this is a no joke fish here so yeah folks subscribe later